All right, everyone. Chief Reynolds, thank you all for coming to the awards night. Um, this is going to be uh, a new thing that we're going to start doing for everyone. Uh, and this is going to be for uh, pending and new officers. Uh, to my right, I got Deputy Chief Steinbeck. To my left, I got Assistant Chief McDonald. You, some of you get new guys do not know them fully yet. You guys will. At this time, can I ask Firefighter Jackson and Firefighter Dawson to come to the front of the podium? All right, gentlemen. Today is a watershed event in your life. You are being sworn in as a fireman. You have a bit of work ahead of you, but this is the day of, of a journey for you that will define your life. You're joining a brotherhood, family, if you will, that extends across the con this country. You will form bonds like no other you have experienced before. Embrace that. You will work hard and, and in dangerous conditions. You will miss holidays, soccer games, and school concerts. You will work in 90 degree heat and sub-zero temperatures. You will put yourself in risky situations to help others in the time of their greatest need and their greatest vulnerability. Yours is a bond. Yours is a proud profession of public service. Today, you are answering the call. Along the way, we will do our best to train and equip you to keep you safe and, eff and effective. And I and I would urge you to listen and learn from from the other members of the department. They have seen and experienced a lot and are eager to share the knowledge with you. Take advantage of the, that resource. There is no resource greater than an older firefighter teaching the young. So. On the behalf of the residents of the Harmony Township, I welcome you to our outstanding fire department and I thank you for the service and sacrifice you are about to make. Fire, firefighters, repeat after me. I state your name. I, Dawson. I, Jackson Lanthus. So solemnly swear. So solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute the duty. As a firefighter of Harmony Township. As a firefighter of Harmony Township. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve. Preserve. Protect. Protect. And defend the community of Blaine County. And defend the community of Blaine County. Chiefs, can you pen these guys? Sure thing, Chief. Welcome to the shit show. You may be seated. Oh, the memories. I remember doing this 30 years ago. All right. All right, we're going to get to the the awards at this time. I remember the day when this young man walked through the engine bay doors after we got back from a fire. This member has gone through hell and back with me and and the other brothers in this room. He worked hard this last year helping when he's free when we are not on a call. But this award is not for station side of calls. This award is for what you do on calls. This member arrives on scene with the attitude to get the job done no matter what. If I ask him to do something, he does. Now, he asks why a couple times, but that's to be expected. I'm not going to put any member in harm's way. And this is why I would like to present Firefighter Brent Brooker with Firefighter of the Year. Can you please step forward to Chief McDonald? You may be seated. 
that little man's all grown up. This next one I would have never expected to join this department. This member I've seen on rec scenes a lot alongside us. He would help alongside of us on these scenes to help the person, even though he doesn't have have the training. He then asked me on a call for an application. Later, he pro progressed to a probationary and then to a full time membership. He has a passion for firefighting and a drive to become a better firefighter. He has that drive that I have seen in others before in my career. This last year, I have seen a stronger drive to improve better, always wanting to learn and work harder. One of those guys that is like always like put me in coach, I'll do it. And this is why rookie of the year goes to Jacob Hash. Please come forward to uh, Chief Steinbeck to my right. You may be seated. This member, I always seen a drive in his eyes from the time he signed the paperwork for joining in my office from going through the fire, fire academy. He always wants to learn. When you're coming into a field you don't know, you got to listen to your other teammates and learn if you want to make it through this. He had a problem with that at the beginning. He could take he could take orders well at all until he's seen why it, all of this matters truly. Over the last year, I have seen this member drastically change into one of a kind of firefighter, one I've seen before. Most improved goes to Logan Jones. Can you walk up to Chief McDonald? You may be seated. This member is a no-nonsense firefighter. He knows how to get the job done. He is one of those firefighters that understand what it takes to get a job done. We had a structured fire last year with a lawn driveway. He called and asked what I needed out there, and I said the other engine. He never asked why, and when he arrived, he did what I hoped he did, which was to relay pump water to my engine. Before I knew it, I had two, two and a half inch lines stretched to our first new engine. I didn't need to discuss it or explain my idea. He saw the placement of my truck and knew exactly what needed to be done. He has done this multiple multiple times on scenes and leading. Mental attitude goes to David McDonald. Sure, sir. All right. <clears throat> All right. So this person has a passion for this great profession. One I've seen in others that go on to do great things. He has firefighting in his blood. He is a great member to have on our department. And on the fire scene, he's willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done. And on his downtime, you can find him he either here, find him here at the station, either maintaining our tools or even washing our trucks. I don't have to preach pride and ownership with him. He gets it. And it is with my pleasure to have such a firefighter on our department. The most dedicated firefighter award goes to Logan Reynolds.
Thanks. Good job. All right. All right. That does it for the awards. Now promotions. All right. This first promotion. He has a. This guy has a drive. He. He wants to do best. He wants to lead. He I, he always wants to be up there and lead. And that's what we look for as an officer. He wants to do that. He wants to help the guys, help take weight off our shoulders just in case we're not there. And in this profession, we need younger officers to step up and move forward. And that's why Captain 1105 Brooks, can you please come forward and get your pen? You may be seated. This next position will be the lieutenant, first lieutenant position. This member, he has drastically changed from just running around like a chicken with his head cut off to a becoming a leader, a leader that I've seen change. We were on a we we had a we were slammed yesterday, as far as some of you know. And this this man ran siege without me being there and proved to me that he could do this job. This is why Lieutenant 1106, Jacob Hash. Maybe seated. All right, the last promotion, the last lieutenant spot. This guy, he he's been through the works with us. Like I said before, uh, previously earlier, uh, he's been through hell and back with us. He knows how to lead, and he knows what it takes to get the job done if needed. Uh, he's not afraid to ask questions with other officers, which what other officers should be doing. He knows what everything needs to do, what needs to happen on every type of call. And this is why Lieutenant 1107, Burt Brooker. Ow! Sorry. Shit, that's not up again. Get a little feisty there, Chief. I may be seated. <laughs> Jesus. All right, thank you all for coming. We're going to get a group photo outside. Um, we're going to get a group photo outside, and uh, after that, we're done.